The Miami Dolphins were one of the most active teams in the NFL this offseason. With the additions of Terran Armstead and Tyreek Hill on the offensive side of the ball, they have committed to winning now. Outside of bringing in Armstead and Hill, the Miami Dolphins also made multiple other big moves. They re-signed defensive end Emmanuel Ogba. Tight end Mike Gesicki will play the season on the franchise tag. Miami also extended their star cornerback Xavier Howard. With all of their off-season moves, the Dolphins currently have an abundance of talent at some spots. This could lead to some very difficult options for this front office in the near future. Several talented players may not make the final roster, three potential Dolphins who could be cut, three. Miles Gaskin, running back, the Miami Dolphins currently have a surplus of talent at the running back position. They currently have seven backs on their roster. Several of these players are already household names in the NFL. Sony Michel, Chase Edmonds, and Raheem Mostert were all brought in this offseason. Each of them has spent significant time in the NFL. They have all played a lead back role somewhere else, and have found success with all of their previous teams. This puts Miles Gaskin in a difficult spot. Gaskin, who has been with the Dolphins since they drafted him in the seventh round in 2019, could be the odd man out. He has played a full season just once and has not always been effective. Through 34 career games with the Dolphins, Gaskin has recorded 1,329 rushing yards and 7 touchdowns. He has added another 673 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns on 97 receptions. With 448 total touches and 2,002 yards from scrimmage, he has a career average of 4.5 yards per touch. At just 25 years old, and entering his fourth year in the NFL, Gaskin still has the potential to get even better. But the Dolphins' willingness to sign three other running backs this offseason could signal the end of his time in Miami. 2. Preston Williams, wide receiver, much like Miles Gaskin, Preston Williams could be the odd man out in the wide receiver room. When the Dolphins added Tyreek Hill, that put another receiver at risk of losing their spot. Williams has struggled heavily to stay on the field during his three seasons. He has struggled with injuries in each season. His inability to stay healthy could be why the Dolphins make this choice. He has played in eight games in each season of his short career. Williams has posted a career stat line of 56 receptions, 787 receiving yards, and seven touchdowns. During the 2021 season, Preston appeared in eight games and started three. On 16 total targets, he recorded six receptions for 71 yards and zero touchdowns. His performance on the field is enough for the Dolphins to move on. He hasn't been effective when healthy. It's also hard to know just how many times he has stepped out onto the field feeling 100%. 1. Eric Rowe, safety, the Dolphins have gone all in on their secondary. With Xavier Howard and Byron Jones leading the bunch, they are currently in a good place. They have also added two solid young safeties in Jevon Holland and Brandon Jones. Safety Eric Rowe could be kept around as a solid depth piece. Or the Dolphins could justify his release due to it allowing them to save money. Rowe, who has been in the NFL since 2015, has been a solid option at safety. The two-time Super Bowl champ has appeared in 86 games throughout his career. In this time, he has recorded 325 tackles, 39 defended passes, and 5 interceptions. He appeared in 17 games for the Dolphins last season and started 4. He finished the season with 71 tackles and 4 defended passes. He also caused 4 forced fumbles. But the Dolphins could choose to go down the path of Jevon Holland and Brandon Jones. As mentioned, both safeties are young but have already looked good. During his rookie season last year, Holland recorded 69 total tackles. Three tackles for loss, two and a half sacks, and two interceptions. Braden Jones, who will be entering year three, has also looked solid in his first two seasons. Throughout last season, he racked up 79 total tackles, six tackles for loss, five sacks, one interception, and two forced fumbles. While Rowe is still solid, it could be hard to justify keeping him around when there are younger, more reliable options already on the roster. By moving him, 
they could also bring themselves more flexibility in the future.